Hey guys, Ray from Love You RV. Back at you again. Well, it's October 15th and we're still camped out at Miracle Beach and enjoying the fall season here in all the colors. But I thought today I'd uh, take you along on a little walk down to the beach on a soggy day. So I've done a few videos from the area and it's usually looked really nice with some sun and stuff like that. But I thought I'd show you the kind of downside of this time of year camping on Vancouver Island on the coast. It is a rainforest after all. And that's what we're getting today. There's a big storm coming through the next two days. It's supposed to dump as much as maybe a hundred millimeters of rain in this area over the next two days. It's just about four inches. Good part of it though is it's kind of warm. It's about 10 Celsius, 50 Fahrenheit. So not too bad. Let's put on a light jacket, grab an umbrella. Go for a little walk. Got some wind kicking up, so I thought I'd take a stroll down to the beach and see how the ocean's looking. But uh, not many campers, that's a, a bonus this time of year. It's just very few people out camping right now, of course. Just us crazy uh, folks. Anyway, I heard today that the US is opening their border to uh, non-essential travel on November 8th so Ann and I are kind of excited we'll be able to actually uh, resume our normal trip south and head down to the sunny desert this winter versus staying here in the rain and the cold. Yeah it sure is pretty in here right now. You kind of hear the wind kicking through up there, but down here you're kind of sheltered in the forest. The only downside is falling branches. We were here uh, two weeks ago, I guess, for a, a big wind storm, and there was crap falling and hitting the roof. One branch just narrowly missed our rig, so I think uh, one guy got uh, smoked with a branch and it damaged his roof, so you have to be kind of careful. Yeah, over there you can see that tree has toppled over. So we moved our campsite and moved to one with a, a more of a clear sky. One reason being we have that Starlink uh, internet dish so I wanted a clearer sky to get a better connection but also less chance of a big branch falling on the truck or the camper and kind of ruining our day. Very peaceful here though, without very many people around. So we got one more night here and then I'm going to head down to Victoria and uh, do some mooch docking in my sister's driveway. Do some family visiting. Maybe go see my mom and Ann's dad, that kind of thing. Now that we plan on leaving, we'll, we'll have a good visit with our families. So some of the provincial parks close for the winter. I think this Miracle Beach is open maybe till the end of uh, October or November. Can't remember which. There's a couple parks that stay open year round in Parksville, Rath Trevor Provincial Park and Elk Falls Provincial Park. Um, a lot of the parks that once they get into the winter they have winter rates so the pricing drops quite a bit from like in the 30, 30 or 35 dollar range down to maybe 13 to 20 dollars. So a lot of people still like to come out camping if it's going to be not too bad. Build a big campfire, roast some marshmallows, that sort of thing. Crossing the parking lot here. We'll make our way down to the beach, see what it's like down there. It should be a lot windier down there. Yeah, we're right there, Miracle Beach. Just south of Campbell River where we normally stay for the summer. But we'll slowly start to make our way down island now, get down to the bottom tip, Victoria.
Oh yeah, she's kicking up pretty good out there. Wouldn't want to be out in the boat today. Usually what happens here, they got a good southeast uh, flow of wind. Comes right up the Georgia Strait. Actually, looks like there's a couple guys going to go out and try to do some fishing out there. Kind of popular this time of year with uh, fishing off the beach. I've seen some guys in hip waders and stuff out there. Uh, I think I can see a big barge in the distance. Let me zoom in and see what we can see. I think it's a barge. I know they ship a lot of kind of like uh, wood chips and stuff down to the pulp mill in Powell River. Yeah, looking kind of nasty out there. Quite the difference to my uh, previous video a little while ago where you could see across the mountains and stuff over there now it's just socked in gray a good day for a picnic. <laughs> oh well, good to get out for a little walk. Especially before the big rain comes. So far we haven't had too much torrential rain yet. Actually have to make a little trip into town to do a few errands. So uh, if it's really kicking up, I can give you some uh, footage of our drive th with our dash cam. Did a video a couple days ago where I did an update on my review of the Thinkware dash cam. It's actually turned out to be a pretty good uh, dash cam for us. Gives some pretty nice footage. Wow, those maples are really starting to pop now. Wait, the colors along here. That's pretty. Evidence of some more uh, big branches that kind of came down. Whew. You think it rains here much? Check out the moss on these maple trees. Yeah, I'm thinking it stays pretty wet in here. There we are back at camp. Yeah, you can see I picked a kind of nice open site, not many uh, trees above us, just for that reason. This time of year, you can get some uh, pretty decent windstorms. <sighs> Go up on the roof and show you why I'm so obsessive compulsive about sealing up the, the cougar's roof. We do spend quite a bit of fall camp in here. You remember I resealed the back end and redid the slide roof just for this very reason. That one I've kind of swept off already. But you can see the top here. 
<laughs> just loaded with stuff. Gonna have to get up here and give it a sweep before we leave tomorrow. And you can see not much solar happens here this time of year. This is definitely a generator country. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you a look at uh, kind of a crappy day out here since I'm usually showing the most beautiful days. It's good to kind of balance it with what you would expect if you want to camp out here in the rainforest on Vancouver Island. Till next time, Ray from loveyourrv.com. Stay tuned folks, once we get heading south I'll have some more videos of our travels. Cheers guys!